and then go to 2D mode. Now what I can do is save this PCB and then import all my schematic changes into the PCB, so update PCB document. Add all the components, add all the nets, add this component class. You can add a room if you want, basically it just holds all your components together. Um, if you have multiple schematic sheets, like if I had four or five schematic sheets, it'd be useful to have rooms because it then um, just creates sort of like a bounding box for all your parts based on the schematic sheet. Um, but we only have one, so we can just not add it. Validate, execute. I have a bunch of parts in here. So we can just drag them over. You can see now that our PCB is probably way too big for what we're trying to do. Um, but that's okay, we can decrease it after. Let's move it in here actually. Now if I hit three, that'll go to 3D mode. I can see all my parts. And this is why it pays off to make nice footprints because we can generate the step model and it looks really good. I have everything, just not our LED unfortunately, but that's okay. Cool. These sort of lines, they call, um, sometimes they call them rat's nests, uh, but like the more professional name, I guess, is a net list. Basically tells you what's connected to what. So this trigger needs to be connected to this pin here trig. Comparator needs to be connected to comparator. And if we hadn't made these really nice net labels, it would show like net C1-2 kind of deal. But since we did, they're super nice. So one rule with capacitors, especially if they're being used to filter or bypass, um, you always want to put them as close to the, to the IC pin as possible. Obviously not overlapping because you'll get a bunch of errors. That's what these green things always mean. Um, that's a rule violation. You can see in the top left corner it says component clearance constraint less than 0 0.254 millimeters because it's on top of each other. So there's like a little distance it needs to be. And I like to always just double check in 3D view to see how far it actually is. Um, another thing is with your reference designators you always want them to be the same orientation as your part. So if your capacitor is rotated like this your C1 should also be and it helps to find the capacitor later um, when your board is really crowded. Uh, if it were like this, then now my C1 follows. It's pretty nice. What else we got? There's another capacitor here too, right? Trig. Let's bring it down. Also want it to be close to the pins as much as possible. and make sure the reference designator is aligned. This dot here is just to show pin one, FYI. R3 and R2, uh, this one's the LED, so it goes here. Space to rotate. But R1 and R3 need to go down, right? Straighten them down. And R1, I'm going to bring this designator underneath and put it maybe somewhere like this. And discharge and trigger need to be kind of close together. So you can do maybe something like this. too close so is this R3 I want to rotate this I think be the best way so trig is close to trig is close to trig discharge is close to discharge is close to five volts um, and that's not bad mm, that's the best way you always want to try and minimize the distance from component to component, just because there's no the the smaller traces you can get away with the better. Because long thin traces add inductance, 
So, and the longer you chase, the more resistance you also have. So these add small little parasitics that ruin your performance. Trig connects to trig. Discharge is going to go down to discharge. 5 volts is 5 volts. Very secure. Okay, so not bad. Let's grab these guys. So in my mind, I before I start routing, I always kind of think about where the traces are going to go so I can, can help me with my placement. I know that trig needs to connect here and also to the other trig. Uh, discharges need to connect together, but I also need to connect to discharge up here, so you might have a trace going down here. 5 volts needs to connect in here, and also up here. Comparator is fine over here. So... I'm thinking we can keep, maybe I'll, I'll rotate this a little bit. Should be able to keep these here. And what we're gonna do is just bring our output down to the bottom layer to our LEDs. Hit three. Okay, doesn't look bad. Nice little circuit.